Hi, Soul Family. I'm sorry we're not outside for our reading, but I have been working, working, working. <clears throat> I've been doing readings. I've been doing private counseling sessions. I have been working on my psychic hotline, and I have been creating sage wands because I am the queen of wands. Song like now. I like you better. I like me better when I'm with you. Okay. Lights on for a second. Check it out. I just want to show you my sage wands. I, I have one that was just, I was supposed to be sending off. And I thought, oh shoot, I didn't get it wrapped up. But there's a reason I didn't get wrapped up. Because I need to show it to you guys. So this is what my, my procedure looks like, right? I've got all my sage. This is today's pick. And what's left of today's pick. I, I fill it to the top. People say to me, you know, well, couldn't you just take a bush home and, you know, grow it at home? You have no idea how many bushes that I go to to get a bag of sage. I, you can't just take the whole bush. You have to take certain sections of it, right? And I need hundreds and hundreds of them. And so, uh, and even like with this, like I said, this is still to the surface. And with that tonight, I've made one, two, three, four, six wands. And it was packed to the top. So... The sizes that I'm going to show you, I showed, um, I did a video when I showed you guys before, but let me just give you an idea. This is a super jumbo. Fatty. This kind of fatty's eye roll. Super jumbo. Okay, take a look at the size of that sucker. It's, it's been drying for, for a day, so I have to let it dry again and wrap it, and it'll dry for another day before it's done. This is also a super jumbo. It's, this one's thicker than, this one's taller, but as far as the weight, they're, they're the same. This is going to be... I think this, I, I'm not certain if that's also at this point. No, this will be a large. This is a huge one though. That's a generous large. These ones are all, these ones will probably be mediums. This one is probably a large. Um, this is, this is a jumbo. Yeah, these are super jumbos. This is a jumbo. So this is a jumbo as well. Jumbos, super jumbos. Large, large, and this is a medium. This is the one that's going off. This one's flying off to Canada tomorrow. And what you see displayed as the little charm is uh, Blue Jay, which is speaking about speech, truth, and communication, using your words in an appropriate manner, not being a bully, but not let anyone else think bullying you as well. And this is soda light. It was comfortable. I just, I love this. I haven't done an all navy and um, I love these colors. So this is going off to Anita in Canada. So I wanted to show you guys, that's what I'm doing. This is a this is a little travel mini. This one's actually quite small. A, a little travel mini. These are awesome. It's very dense, this one. So, because when I go away, I sage the hotel room. I, I just sage everywhere I am. So this is a mini. Takes You, take, you can take it with you. Okay. Um, I was told that we're going to be working. Let me turn the radio down. Oh, I love this song. Hoobastank. Um, I found the reason to be true to who I am. Have you heard this song? I'm not a perfect person. I actually am glad that I missed the beginning of it because when I hear the beginning of it, I cry. I'm not a perfect person. This is somebody who's feeling, who's recognizing their actions um, and how they hurt somebody, but recognizing how this person helped them become aware of themselves. I like this, you know, that's like, if, if, you, if you're going to ever get in a, um, that, that's, that's finding out the truth of who you are and actually stepping up and, and acknowledging and re learning your lesson and acknowledging and, and um, thanking the person who, who was there for you. I love this. I'm, I'm bringing it up because it's, it's, it's actually coming up in the reading. The reason, I'm not a perfect person. There's many things I wish I didn't do, but I continue learning because we're all learning all the time, right? None of us are perfect. I never meant to do those things to you. And so I have to say before I go that I just want you to know I found a reason for me to change who, to change. I'm going to turn you around. You don't look at me. I found a reason probably because I'm going to cry. It's the main reason. Um, I found a reason for me to change who I used to be. A reason to start over new. And the reason is you. I'm sorry that I hurt you. It's something I must live with every day. And all the pain I put you through, I wish that I could take it all away. And be the one who catches all your tears. That's why I need you to hear. I found a reason for me to change who I used to be. A reason to start over new. And the reason is you. The reason is you. I'm not a perfect person. I never meant to do those things to you. 
And so I have to say before I go that I just want you to know I found a reason for me to change who I used to be, a reason to start over new, and the reason is you. I found a reason to show a side of me that you didn't know, a reason for all that I do, and the reason is you. That is beautiful, don't you think? I got a message. Um, I got the message yesterday, and then I got it again today, and I got it confirmed again tonight that it's actually for... It's interesting because I got it in, in uh, the way that spirit shows me things are um, through my clients, right? Through my readings for other people, through overheard conversations, through my dreams, through the songs. And the, uh, a lot of times when I'm, I was counseling someone today and then I was speaking to a friend who had also been through a very difficult time. This person is an alcoholic and they hurt me a lot. And I cut my friendship away from them and... Uh, they realized, in the song right now, my, my reputation's never been worse. My reputation's never been worse. You must like me for me. And it's kind of the same story. This is someone that I, I loved. And they became very narcissistic and very abusive because of their addiction. And they addressed their addiction. They, they, went, to, um, they went to jail for a long time. And then they went to uh, rehab. And they went to... Uh, their, I, I don't know if they went to rehab. Um, they went to uh, an outpatient rehab. And they're... Um, she told me today that she's, um, she goes, I don't know if I told you, but I'm going to AA, which is something that she would never do. She would never even consider it because she lives in a very small town. And, and she said the kind of people that are there, that they were beneath her. She's a very beautiful, high end, you know, person. And she felt like the people there were, she didn't feel comfortable with them. And I said, you know, you need to go there and you need that support. And anyway, she told me today that, that she actually had done that. And, uh, I was talking to her about somebody that she was connected to. And she says, I, you know, she's like in a love triangle between these two people, this person that she's been with and, and this other person that's actually um, a very caring individual. And she said that uh, she's torn. And I said, why are you torn? And she said, because, uh, well, this one that, that's uh, here, the one that was actually supportive of her while she went through her whole situation is, she says, well, we're not we don't physically match up. And I said, why do you say that? And I knew why, because she's very, very beautiful. And uh, she sent me a picture and I looked at the person and it's funny because before I, I, I talked to him afterwards, she put him on the phone and let him speak to me. And uh, we hadn't had the discussion about what he looked like, you know, what she felt about how he didn't suit her person, like her look. I said, why do you say that? But we hadn't had that discussion yet. She just sent me a picture. And I said, he's got very passionate eyes. I saw the passion in his eyes. And then um, I talked to him. I said, what am I going to say? She goes, I don't know, but it would mean a lot if you would talk to him because he's, he's heard a lot about you. You're very special to me. So I said, hello, nice to meet you. And he had such a gentle voice. And he seemed a little timid, but it was probably what more was coming across was this gentleness. And so I got off the phone with him. I talked to him. I said to him, thank you for being supportive of her because this other person that she was in this love triangle with is an alcoholic and, and is an abuser and he wants to keep her sick and he encourages her. He doesn't admit to being an alcoholic, but he likes to keep her in that place where she's not well because then he can control her. She never understood that. And uh, so I talked to this person and I said, thank you for being supportive of her and, and for being tough on her and don't, don't let her you know, charm her way out of it because she needs tough love sometimes. And um, he says, yeah, well, we've, we've had one slip. We, and I like the way he said we, we've had one slip, um, but we're doing good. It's been about a month now, we're doing good. So he's being realistic and being honest, right? Well, the other person made it very clear that it wasn't his problem. I don't, I don't have a problem with alcohol and I should be able to drink if I want. That's her problem. And I said, you're wrong. If it's her problem, it should be your problem. I have a cat that, that was very, very sick and she was dying and I spent thousands of dollars on her and I went without because it was my problem because she's my someone that I loved and if you love somebody it's your problem it's a problem for her it's a problem for you so I said to my friend this this person doesn't love you this person wants to control you this person likes it when you're sick and down because it makes them feel better about themselves because he's got a problem and she saw that and she made a comment about the other person, this other nice person, and she was talking about her being with this beautiful one. 
And I said, you know, that's abusive what you're saying. You're speaking about that person and in front of this one that cares about you, that's abuse. And I said, and you are speaking of intimate things with that person and you, it's abusive. And I said, why are you even keeping yourself in a position with somebody who is an abuser? That person is an abuser. And then I realized from my own life, wow, I'm speaking my own words. Why are you placating, making excuses for, and going on and on about somebody who was abusive to you, Sherry? It's all about learning our own self-worth. I get my answers with my own words. So this song, you know, you can be an abusive person. I said to, I said to my girlfriend, you know, she says, well, he's had a difficult life and, you know, I wouldn't call him an abuser. And I said, I would. Because every single day we get up, we get a chance to, to choose our life and, and, and how we're going to behave. And we can choose to be a victim. We can choose to be turned from a victim and become an abuser. I said, this person was a victim and is now an abuser. And I said, and now you've become an abuser. You're abusive with the way you speak in front of this one that, that you say that you care about. I said, what is this, a polyamorous relationship? You know, both of you and uh, both of them and you? Well, I haven't made up my mind. And I said, he's going to ask you to marry him, that other one. And it's not out of love. It's out of control. And about two hours later, I was here working on my sage wands, and I got a text message. And she said, I told him I was done. And he said he was proposing on New Year's. And I said, it's to control you. It has nothing to do with love. It's about him. It's about him not losing that toxic energy. You, he is the toxic energy. He is your trigger. And he wants to control you. He'll marry you. But it's so that he can have that fix. He's feeding off of your energy. She's actually an awakened being. That, and, and a lot of times we have, we have addiction issues. We've got issues that we've got to work through, right? And so this one doesn't want to let her go. Very charming, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, but, but if you listen to him talk, it's about him. Everything is about him. And even the fact that he was going to ask her to marry him so that he could keep her there in that down place so that he had a beautiful arm piece to walk with and he could keep that person feeling bad. And she said, you know, I understand that I've done it myself. And I said, what do you mean? And she says, well, the abuse. She goes, after you having had it happen for all my life, I've done that. She goes, it's like a, it's like a science experiment. She goes, you, you do to somebody else what they did to you, what's been done to you and you watch and you wonder how much they can take. And I said, is it like a test? Like you're testing, you know, how much, how much do you love me? If you loved me, you would take, well, how much will you take? I said, that's sick. And you are keeping that cycle going by staying with that abuser. It's a codependent relationship. Run. That is not a wedding proposal. It's a noose around your neck. Now, this song, I found a reason, right? Somebody was, I've had people being a very abusive to me. And sometimes people wake up and they realize, wow, I found a reason. I'm not a perfect person. I'm, I'm learning, right? And I, I just want you to know, I found a reason to change who I am. Because every morning we get to wake up and decide what we're going to be, how we're going to treat other people, and how we want to live our lives. Do you want to stay in that place? Do you like doing that to someone? Does it make you feel good to hurt somebody because someone hurt you? Because now you have gone from being a victim to becoming an abuser. So the one that you felt was, it was so unjust that you were treated that way, does it make you feel good to do that to another? Really? Do you like yourself right now? Because this person looked in the mirror and realized, I don't like myself, and I'm going to change that. And it sounds as though... They don't feel like they're going to stay. I found a reason. So before I look, I go, I want you to know, right? Like I'm not going to be accepted back. But that's the kind of person that you can find in your heart forgiveness for. We're supposed to forgive so that we can release the situation so that we can move on. But that's the kind of person that actually finds himself being forgiven and welcomed back. So song right now, I'd rather be the hunter than the prey. Just another product of the day, right? I'm a product of the day. This is what happened to me. This is who I became. And so now I'm going to become a hunter. I don't want to be the prey. So I'm going to be the hunter. There it is. That's exactly the message. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit down. We're going to choose our items. Um, the items that we're going to choose from. Oh, I'm going to say to my friend, Melissa, I got my nail polish on. Thank you so much. Oh, I know what I was going to show you guys. I got a gift package and I, it, I posted it online. I don't know if you guys have seen it. And uh, in the gift package was the nail polish. And I am Bastet, the cat goddess. I'm very connected to the Egyptian. At the bottom of the, of the gift package was 
an earring cuff, and it was, uh, it's an angel wing, and then there was this. And when I saw it, I immediately thought of my, my Halloween costume and my connection to ancient Egypt. Bastet, this is my Bastet, goddess Bastet. She's the cat goddess. She's the goddess of hearth and home, the animal protector. And there is Anubis. Anubis is the god of lost souls. So those are the twins to me. Those are the partners. And I have, I've always been the cat. Every Halloween, I've all, I'm always the cat. And this is the necklace. Isn't that beautiful? And I had it around, I said I put it around Bastet. And I'm going to wear it next Halloween when I am the cat. And hopefully by next Halloween, I'll be with my Anubis. Because I've got to tell you guys something really, really exciting. A message that I got from Spirit. So before we, we do that, we're going to choose our items, okay? So we can choose from Bastet, the goddess mask. We can choose from this cocky rooster. Can you see him? Cocky rooster. You can choose from the wish box. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you will land amongst the stars. I have learned that if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with success in unexpected common hours. Unexpected in common hours. It's about believing, believing and going after it, right? And we have one more. And I like this, this gazebo. I was, I was going to ask for the gazebo, but I like this asparagus fern too. So let me think. It's the gazebo. So it's the gazebo because it's fun and it's festive. So the gazebo will be water signs. Best set will be fire signs. The cocky rooster will be earth signs. And shoot for the moon will be air signs. I don't know why. That's just why. We're going to sit down here in front of our native warrior. I like it down here. So let me go get the cards. And uh, I'll get my pad of paper so that I can recall who's who, right? And we were given certain decks that we were to work with. I was already shown what we're supposed to work with. Song right now? I want somebody just like this. All right. This, this, this. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I lit some sage today. And my, I, I have loose sage too. I should have showed you my loose. I will. Because I think I was going to, I was going to light a little bit. Hold on a second. Sorry, I didn't mean to put my boobs right in your face. So what I do is, with the loose sage, sometimes people just like to burn sage in a bowl, right? So this is a bag of loose sage. This is a large, this is a medium, and I have a small. I guess I should show you the small. That bag is actually Melissa's bag, and I'm sending it back to her with, with sage in it. So when she looks at that, she'll be like, hey, that looks familiar to me. It's because it was yours. Okay, let me see. Do I have one left? I've been selling them like crazy, so it might be that I'm out. Well, I can show you a bag, but it's not got sage in it because I'm all sold out. Okay, here's the large size, here's a medium size, and here's a small, okay? And the prices are on my website, so I thought I'd let you see that. So let me just write down. Um, and I'm going to tell you what I, what, um, my exciting news. So we start with, well, we'll start with Bastet. Bastet. Fire. Cocky Rooster. Earth. Wish Box. Air. And the Sparkling Gazebo. water okay um i hear i have prophetic dreams i have um i've remote viewed a few times but only a few times it's not one of my major gifts it's something i would like to work on but it, it's something i think that spirit gives me when when i'm allowed to have it um 
but I have prophetic dreams and uh, I hear, I've seen angels, right? I have um, experienced that. When I hear in my lucid dreams, and it's interesting because it's, it's not really dream time, it's more of um, when I am, well, they call it lucid because you, you're, it's, you're so, feels like you're awake. I am semi-awake. I am actually semi-awake. I'm just kind of like in a floating meditative state. And that's when I hear my auditory from spirit. And I swear to God, it's, it's either God or my highest of highest self. All I know is that when I get a message from that voice, it is always accurate and it always happens. It has never not happened, as I was told. So one night, <clears throat> several months ago, I asked our father, when will my twin come home, father? And in my auditory message, I heard, and it doesn't come all the time. It, it's very actually infrequent when it happens. I heard when he comes, he comes with crystals in his hands. Now you see my rings, right? These are rings, you can tell that they're rings. When I saw him, I literally saw him within two and a half weeks, I saw him. And the way spirit lined it up was, <clears throat> it, it was absolutely spiritual. It was a spirit, it was, it was our souls coming together. There's no other way you could just explain how it happened the way it did. And when he, he, I looked at his hand and I didn't even think about it for about an hour after I left, his hand was sitting on the table and you don't see rings. All you saw were three crystals in his, in between his fingers. And it was like a black brass knuckle ring, right? And sticking through the fingers were three crystals. So when he came, he came with crystals in his hands. So last night I, I was, t I was working a lot with private clients and with friends, um, and doing Reiki healing and speaking about the power of crystals. And I said, you know, people underestimate the power of crystals. They are so powerful. They help. And I went to sleep with crystals in my hands. And I said, you know, I went to sleep with crystals in my hands the other night and I had the most lucid dreams. And I hadn't been remembering my dreams. And I'm like, why am I not remembering my dreams? My dreams are like, my dreams I can write movies with, books with. They're amazing. And I, so I thought, I, I need, and so I started talking about um, protection. And my friend said, you know, I don't think that people can read our minds. And I said, you're wrong, they can, because I can. And as I was talking to her, I was walking across the floor and somebody literally stepped out of my body. That has never happened before. I have done that. I have been in someone else's body because I've been walking along, looking down at my feet and there are man's feet. I've been seeing through my twin's eyes. I know that, but last night, while I was on the phone walking and talking and we were discussing this subject, somebody literally left my body. And I said, and she goes, are you okay? And I said, no, I, I've never experienced that before. I was, it had took me, a, it took me a, a minute, you know? And she goes, you know, th this is so, she goes, I know that this is true because I, I told her things four years ago that I was dreaming and, and I told her four thing four, four years ago, something about somebody in her life and she dismissed it and last night she corroborated it and she said I, I said how long have you known that and she said a couple months and I'm like oh my god so not only was I dreaming it it was absolutely accurate and everything I saw was real so it was like it settled my heart because a lot of times I don't know if it's a prophetic dream or if it's a symbolic dream it was it was absolutely what it was and so we were talking how she said I don't think that people can read each other's minds she doesn't worry about that and I said that's not true. She goes, no, but not if we know how to protect ourselves. And I said, Caitlin, oh, no, I said her name. I said, uh, I'm a teacher. I do this all the time. But when I get tired and my body gets worn down, I am not able to keep my, my shield protected. That's why it's so important for us to always be reminded. Shield and protect yourself. Clear your energy. I, so that night I said, I, I'm, I'm going to, I got into bed with my crystals. I had a rose quartz right next to me and an amethyst and a clear quartz crystal. I went to sleep holding my aragonite um, crystal in one hand and my phantom quartz crystal in the other. I will add phantom quartz crystal and aragonite meaning because it's amazing. They work together. So I, I went to sleep with them in my hands together. And, and when I sleep with them in my hands, they don't fall. The night before, and the night before what, that I had the, the vivid uh, lucid dreams, I was holding my soulmate pendant, or my soulmate stone, my, my Shiva Lingam in my left hand and rose quartz in the other because that was soulmate love, right? And that's when I dreamed very, very lucidly. So early morning, 
early morning time in my lucid kind of meditative state, I heard, God, please help me remember the words specifically. The time of the twins, the time, oh, I can't, I've got to go look at it. I'm so sorry. I thought I could remember it word for word. It's important that I say it right. And I'm going to show you, I guess I came back here to show you the crystals. Just a second. Crystals are so powerful. You know what? I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring my computer. I should have, that's why I don't like to leave. You know, when I have my computer, I can do so many things. So here is the phantom, angel phantom quartz. Um, I have it. There's so many different ways that it appears. The little fox that I have on my on my workspace up there, you guys have probably seen it a lot in my readings. It's angel phantom quartz. So this is angel phantom quartz. It almost looks like petrified wood. And this is, now I have to lick it because if you were to see it, this is aragonite. My Septurian nodule, the dragon's eye crystal, it's made of um, aragonite and brown calcite and yellow calcite. So aragonite is, um, these are the two crystals that I, there was a reason, because they work together. When you put them together as a team, they are super powerful, which is a message in itself for my twin soul and I. Um, I got really upset at my twin soul, not knowing, because I've been having a lot of um, energy coming at me from the false twin, and it's been very confusing. Um, and so I got pretty upset, and I sent him a message, and, and I had something pointed out to me. That's another message I have to share with us, okay? So the dream, it's not even a dream. That's what's so cool about it. It wasn't a dream. It was literally, my friends are in the bathroom getting higher than the Empire State. My lover is waiting for me just across the bar. My place has been taken by some sunglasses asking about her star, scar. I know I gave it to her months ago. And between, I've been trying to take it back between the holes in my apologies, right? Between the drinks and subtle things. Don't be subtle when you're trying to give someone an apology. Be straight. Don't be subtle. Okay, this is what I heard, and it's literally magic for me because it's going to happen. <sighs> Signs of the twin souls approaching union. Signs of the twin souls approaching union. They're approaching union. That's the message, and it's huge, because I'm a twin soul, as you guys know, and it's been hell. It's been hell for many, many years, and now we've got signs that the twin souls are approaching union. And it's not all twin souls, because there's different um, stages, and every time there would be an opening, it's usually November, December, you know, there's like a, a, a opening, like the Lion's Gate it opens when it, there's an opportunity for one stage of the twin souls to come together. And every year that has passed, I'm like, oh God, we, we didn't make it. We didn't make it. Maybe it'll be next year, right? But that's for me. Signs. You're seeing signs of the, of the twin souls union approaching. So that was what I wanted to say. And... The message is for Aries people, uh, and I got this, I told you guys how I get messages through my clients, right, and through uh, other stories, and it's my own mouth that delivers the message, and I get, and then I hear myself, and I think, oh my God, there it is. And the message was, the, pers uh, the person who hurt you didn't mean to hurt you, they were protecting someone that they loved. They were trying to protect someone they loved. They didn't mean to hurt you. That was the first message. The message I had gotten a few weeks ago, and it was corroborated again tonight, about an hour ago, is Aries, someone that you have thought, felt intimidated by, or felt standoffish of, like not trusting in, will soon prove to be your loyal, one of your most loyal allies. The third message was, I'm going to get very emotional. Somebody that you thought was your enemy is your friend and has been working as your friend, protecting you. Someone that you thought hated you is actually on your side and has been. And I, I think I know who the people might be. It's more than one person. But that was just a message. So if that resonates for any of you, you needed to hear it because I certainly did. Okay. Onward we go. You know, when I was a Jehovah's Witness, there was a song, my favorite song as a little girl. 
um, we had a book like this that was called The Songbook, and we would sing at the beginning of, of, of the meeting, and we would sing and halfway through the meeting, we would sing at the end of the meeting. And then when we were at assemblies, we had these large gatherings, assemblies, and uh, we had them, just, they were called district conventions. And I loved it because we would get to see people you hadn't seen in a long time, right? And circuit assemblies were smaller ones. But in the district conventions, there were so many people that we would rent out the San Diego Sports Arena or the Dodgers Stadium, right, for the assembly because there were that many people. And when this song would play, I would feel like marching down the stairs, like, you know, those big cement stairs. It just lifted my energy. And the song was called, I don't know why this is really emotional for me, because I'm not a religious person anymore. Onward, Christian soldiers. Onward, Christian soldiers. And I posted something. <laughs> I'm going to go back. I, I, this is just how spirit gives us messages, you know. Um... I posted it as the, my banner picture. I'll show it to you. It's very beautiful. The raven, by, by the way, is showing up right now. And you need to know that the raven speaks of magic and miracles. There's a difference between the crows and the ravens. Crows are, are after you. The ravens are magic. Okay, so this is the picture. See that little kitten on the end of this railing? At the top of this very high, steep mountain? And it's probably a very, very gnarly hike. Whatever your mountain, keep climbing. Whatever your mountain, keep climbing. And then there was another one that I spoke about. And I think I titled, I don't know how that just got all changed. So sorry. Please don't flip on me. <laughs> um, I think I titled one of our most recent, uh, most recent YouTube videos. Song right now. I need someone like you when I come through town. Um, history, here it is. I just got to give you the title because it's going to be part of everything. I love Maroon 5. You know, that's the girl in me. I freaking love Maroon 5. I love Adam Levine's voice. I love... The songs, I just love all of them. Every single song I've always loved. <laughs> I've got every single one of their albums. Um, okay, where's our messages? Leo, Scorpios, all signs. I think it's the all signs one. Be the captain of your sea. Spirit is your ship. No, but that was a pretty cool title. I like that. Uh, it wasn't that one. It might have been this one. I can't find it. It might come back during the reading. I'm not. I'm not understanding actually why it. it why it? Um, master the dragon. Play the cards you're dealt. There was another. It was something. Maybe I changed it sometime. Oh, here it is. It was when I went. I'm gonna show it to you guys. If you haven't seen it, you might have seen it. This was amazing. It was after I had my live. Fox, but I'm driving down the hill. Okay, it's after I had my, um, I went out and had my live with you guys. I, I was on uh, Facebook Live, and I wasn't, unfortunately, I wasn't able to save it. I don't know why, so YouTube didn't get it. But um, I connected with a bunch of people. It was really awesome. And then uh, I was driving down the hill, and I'll let you see. And it was the title of this one. Okay, so I'm, I'm driving back from picking my sage, right? And I wasn't able to save the video, so I can't share it to YouTube, which sucks. But I'm driving down the hill, and you know how sad I was the other day, right? And I'm missing my family, and I'm missing everything. Lily, the people in my life that are gone, and my friends, and my full family came and gave me a shot in the arm, right? Which is you guys. I'm driving down the hill, and what do I see? Sherry Columbus, fight on. And you know what? We're holding a tent up for you. It's like, you know what? Come under my umbrella. The rain's heavy. Come under my umbrella. And look, there's seats. There's seats for other people to come. And that's you guys. Anybody who needs that shot in the arm to fight on. That's for us, soul family. I love you. Okay, okay so, so I'm, that's I'm the message. I'm driving back from picking my sage, right? And that was... Now I realize that it's some kind of a team, right? I'm not a sports girl unless I'm playing them. Right? I don't like watching any sports. So I will never be with a person who is a sports fanatic because I won't be a sports widow. Not into it. If I'm not playing the game, I don't want to watch it. Um, but, the, but what I wrote is, it's basically fight on. Fight on. And, it, and it's like, don't give in. Don't give up. Because this is our fight. Um, 
And Spirit said, pay attention to the signs, right? Pay attention to the signs and messages coming in a synchronistic way. Um, I was sent a lovely gift box by my friend Melissa. He got me the nails and I'm wearing the lip gloss. Um, I was able to talk to a bunch of friends on, on Facebook, on live, while I was out in the glorious warm sunshine picking my beautiful sage. Um, I got included by my soul family in Wisconsin last night. They were at Waterfront Mary's, which is a, a bar, and my uncle had a gig, and they were all there. And they, they all sent me a video, and they, they said we're all excited, and they said that they just saw a miracle. They saw a shooting star. And I said, I wonder what the miracle was. But there were so many miracles, many miracles that happened yesterday, many miracles that happened. And basically, here I come down the hill, and literally, Spirit has a setup of... of SC, my name is Sherry Columbus. I realize SC is probably, I don't know, what is it, South Carolina? I don't even know what it was. It doesn't matter to me. It was Sherry Columbus. It was my sign. And there's an umbrella, and it says, fight on. Don't, don't, don't allow yourself to go down. Lipstick on my teeth. Um, how could you miss that sign and all those extra seats under there, which means there's a lot of room for everybody, and Spirit's saying, we're on your team. You're not going to go under it, right? So I'm thinking about that person at the beginning of, um, it just talks, talks about continuing to move forward. You know, and, 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 and another message was, you know, you think about, you know, you feel like you're drowning, right? And then I had to remind myself, and spirit reminded me, I'm a freaking mermaid, right? I might have gotten tossed, but I can freaking breathe underwater, damn it. And so, basically, I'm thinking about that person that says, you know, I've, I, I, I've done things I'm not proud of, and, you know, I, I'm learning. We're all learning, and I've got lessons, and I, I, I want to tell, I say this to you before I go. But we all have lessons and we've all fucked up and, and we're not supposed to give up. We have to fight on, you know, and Spirit's going to give us these messages and pay attention to the synchronistic signs. And if that message in my higher self spoke to me or my angels or my God or whoever it was that said the twin souls, signs of the twin souls, unification approaching, that's a badass message for me. And for hopefully all of any of you who are also possibly in a twin soul relationship. All right, and I know that there's a lot that collect on my page because I draw them to me, right? I'm a twin soul facilitator. So because of the fact that I'm a teacher and I've been through this and it's been so, so challenging, I draw others that are in twin soul union to, to me. So you will be getting this message and I hope you're as excited I am. The song right now is talking about it. I love this song. I swear it should be a wedding song. It's a... Uh, it's if you, if you ever love someone, if you if you're not afraid to lose them, you never love someone the way I love you, because they matter that much, right? Okay, Archangel Michael just made himself very very known right now. Get to work, light worker. You have everything you need in front of you to move forward on your spiritually illuminated path. Stop procrastinating. All right, we're going to start with fire signs. This is the Akashic Tarot. This is what Spirit showed me that, I, that we were meant to use. And I realize that this is a long intro, but as always, it's time stamped. So if you don't want to hear my stories, push fast forward. Correct for neutrality. Fire signs. What is the message? And I'm going to um, clarify with another tarot deck i'm going to clarify with what is this one called the fairy tarot and then everyone's going to get an affirmator message because i'm just in love with that affirmator deck thank you sandy Karasik. freaking love it i use it all the time all the time it's so helpful and and then the um i should go get it again except for i keep having to get up um the positive affirmation cards i, I think i will have to get that for all of us all right, so let me just clear. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Fire signs. Or for those who chose Bestet, the Halloween mask. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. You know what? I may not wear a mask. I may just paint my face like Bestet and wear ears. Okay, here we go. Fire signs. If you love someone, you open up your heart. If you love someone, you make room. If you love someone, you're not afraid to lose them. You've never loved someone like I love you. Okay. It's actually, you probably never love someone like I do, but clearly I said 
like I love you. All right, you guys will see it there. So fire signs at 40 minutes. Archangel Gabriel. Now it's in reverse. I asked if I was to read the cards in, in reverse and I heard no. I don't know why. But so the emphasis is not to be read in reverse, but I'm supposed to look at it. Okay. So Archangel Gabriel is my angel because um, Archangel Gabriel is the messenger. I mean, it's not just my angel. Archangel Gabriel is a female and a male, <clears throat> but is the messenger. But the reason I say mine is because Archangel Gabriel is the red hawk and I am the red hawk. That is my totem, my main totem. I've got many totems because I've been working with the animals my whole life. But um, when I became enlightened and awakened as a teacher, it was the red hawk that came to me. So in reverse, because this is of the angel of communication, obviously... In the upright, you're communicating, but in reverse, you're having difficulties where communication is concerned. It might be that you're not speaking up for yourself, or maybe the things that you are saying, are you're filling your mind with negative thoughts, negative words. Um, it's, it's definitely a life lesson. You're, it, it, what we focus upon, we bring about. So we can ask Archangel Gabriel to help us in our communication skills. It's also a message that there, this time of disruption, as far as communication is concerned, uh, confusion, it's here in order to reawaken something. It's going to help us with a profound friendship, to help us express ourselves and speak our truth. So we need to actually get to the place where we, what is our truth, right? We got to go into meditation and ask for, for a higher self to help us get comfortable with what our own truth is and we have to get comfortable with speaking our truth a lot of times we we like I, I spoke today with my friend and I and I said I need to tell you what I hear what I heard and what I heard was really harsh and I knew it and I said "Ooh, you know I, I have to tell you though and when and I said I realized she says go ahead and say it and I said it's it's harsh but I heard it twice and I heard it three times and I need to say it so I said it and uh, she took it really well it was hard to hear but it was powerful. And then I have to let her know that a little while later I got from spirit that this particular person who is a Libra was about to hear something that was really harsh. But in the end, it was what you needed to hear and it's very powerful. So I thought, okay, good. So sometimes we question ourselves though. We know we need to speak. We need to say what we need to say. But then we think maybe we were too harsh. And I told you, I wrote something to my twin and I was, I was upset. And I told him the truth of how I felt. And... Then Spirit showed me later that someone that, that spoke to me and hurt me the way that they did, they did it because they were trying to protect another person. And I saw it. And I said, I understand. I know that and I understand and I'm sorry too. So it doesn't mean that what I said wasn't valid. It just means that I understand now. It's been made clear and I'm sorry for if I hurt the, anyone and I'm sorry for the situation as well. So it's about speaking your truth, even if it is uncomfortable. Now, in the upright, because song right now, Loaded God Complex, cock it and pull it. You know, and I always get mad when I hear this song because I think, you know what, don't come at me with a Loaded God Complex because I'll cock it and pull it. But if you look up the actual lyrics and the meaning of the lyrics, it's literally about somebody saying, I know that you love me. I know that I have that power because you love me that much. And it basically gives them a loaded God complex because they realize how much that person loves them. But then it's like, you know what? Handle it in an appropriate way. So in the upright condition, Archangel Gabriel, you can see coming with a trumpet in one hand and he's got a scroll in his belt and he's holding something else in his other hand. And he's got a little sparrow. The sparrow is the sparrow of victory, right? The sparrow is also sitting on this hand. There's one flying and there's one on his other hand. There are two sparrows. So also on his chest, there's a symbol. You can't see it and I can't get this to zoom in and I'm sorry, but there's a symbol of Mercury, which is interesting. We just came out of Mercury retrograde, but Mercury is the God of communication. So thank God Mercury retrograde has gone direct. 
right? We're out of the shadow period, I think, almost now as well. So it definitely speaks about a connection to this energy, this communicative energy, but it's a positive connection. And it's talking about your power of expression or the ability to express yourself is on the rise right now. So you'll have an easier time communicating with others, expressing yourself, you know, working with projects, counseling, teaching, anything, marketing, radio, television, mediumship, whatever it is that is your, your communicative skills are, are in regards to. So it's in a time right now for you to work towards this. And we have to remember, now um, when I showed you the, the sage wand at the beginning, the one that's going to Canada, I said that the, the, the bluebird, not the bluebird, it was the blue jay, was the, was the bird that was on there. And I said I was drawn to wrap the whole thing with the navy colors. And sodalite is also about communication and truth. This is talking about not being a bully being very careful of the power of your words, but also recognizing the power of your words, the weight that your words can help and carry and move forward. Like I said, what I said to my friend was difficult for them, for her to hear, but it was powerful and it was accurate and it's going to help. So knowing that, okay, I'm taking a long time. I, I, I forgot that I'm going, um, this is all fire signs basically. And now we're going to go to break it down. Okay. Between the, with, between the different signs. So we're going to the fairy tarot and we're going to start with Aries because I'm an Aries and this is my channel. So Aries and then we're going to go to Sagittarius and then we're going to go to Leo. So the fairy tarot in, in the ways of communication and Archangel Gabriel, Gabriel is also the messenger, right? So it's about bringing you signs, paying attention to the signs. That's what we were talking about in the beginning. Pay attention to the synchronistic messages and signs that are coming. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your lucid dreams. Pay attention to your visions. Pay attention to the words and audio, auditory messages that you get from spirit. So, yes, I am paying attention because I was just shown that the twin souls are fast approaching union. So now what we see here is the queen of spring, which is very appropriate for, air, uh, for fire signs. Now, why did I say air? Because it feels as though... Fire signs have been speaking like the Queen of Air, the Queen of Swords, which is truth, speaking our truth. Uh, I think of the Lady of the Lake, you know, all, all manner of, of truth and integrity are, are required at this time. So well, here you see the Queen of Fire, and she is a very capable person. She's sitting out in the garden. She's very connected to nature. She's connected to her highest self. She is an emotional person. But she's in control of her emotions. She's a very passionate person. She has her sage burning in front of her. She's gained experience, right? She's talented. She's friendly. She's loyal. She's outgoing. She's outspoken. And this may be a person in your life. This may be you. Or this may be someone else in your life. It's telling you to believe in yourself. It's telling you that there's a lot of people that want to help you. You're not an island, right? Archangel Gabriel standing right here saying, I want to help you. It's about maintaining a balance between your work and home life. So this is talking about communication. So it's talking about using the power of your words in your, in, in, your, in your work and at your home. Make sure that you don't come across as the queen of swords, right? Make sure that you do tap into your loving energy and, and speak what you're passionate about. But sometimes when we're passionate, we lose our temper, right? That's why I said what I said to my twin. I meant it at the time. I meant it. And there was something that wasn't clear to me. And sometimes, you know, you need to step back and, and, and not make a, a decision, not, not communicate when you're upset. I didn't feel like I was upset. I felt like I, would, I had resigned myself. I had made a decision. And I was basically saying goodbye. So uh, this was showing me that, you know what, sometimes your, your passion gets a little bit ahead of you. So... She's also a, comp a com competitor. She's a fierce competitor. She doesn't back down for shit. She's strong. She's powerful. She knows it. She has no competition. And she likes to have things her way. We are very strong, independent people, Aries people. We are. I'm open to communication. But if you don't communicate with me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blaze through with my own life. And I'm going to speak my truth and move forward. I'm wearing the red hat. I am Mrs. Claus. Right? So that's, that's the energy that we hold. But... If you most likely will agree with this one because she comes from a, from a place of love, but sometimes you won't. And you're not going to get her to change her mind too easily. There's only one, two people, three people in my life that have been um, able to 
get me quickly to see something. Um, and they're all Virgos. Interesting, you know? And uh, Virgos don't speak unless they know the truth. They don't speak unless they know what they're talking about. It's what I find very interesting about Virgos. They're very grounded. Sorry, i got to tighten this little thing up. It's kind of weak. Okay. And uh, so it might take a little bit, right? You're not going to probably get her to change your mind. And it might take a little bit before she comes around to seeing your point of view. So what happened for me, I'll give myself an example. Throw myself under the bus, right? Spirit showed me with my own mouth what the story was. That person was hurtful. That person did do something hurtful, but he was protecting someone he loved. Okay. I'm sorry you got hurt. That wasn't said to me. That's, that's in the air. I can feel it energetically. I didn't want to hurt you, but I had to protect someone that I loved. So then I'm able to temper my response. I made a decision because of what I was shown and because of where I came to, because I am the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Fire. I am the Queen of Wands, my ceremonial Sage Wands. I'm called the Queen of Wands and I am, and I am very independent. I'm very determined and I move forward on my own. I stand on my own. I stand on my integrity. I speak my truth. I walk my walk. I talk my talk. This is what this message is speaking about. This is you, someone in your life, or telling you this is what you need to do. So I don't come from a place of hot-headedness. I don't come from a place of arrogance. I do come from a passionate place, however, and if I need to stand corrected, I will. I can stand corrected. My grandmother said that all the time. Very independent, strong, fire sign as well. And when she was shown that it wasn't what she thought it was, she said, I stand corrected. I have no shame in admitting that. I stand corrected. I was corrected by spirit. I wasn't wrong in what I said. I meant what I said. That person was hurtful. That person, what that person did to me was not okay. It was a huge lesson to me. And I said, thank you for the lesson. And now we move forward, right? But then something was corrected. My course was corrected. Sometimes spirit has to course correct us. That's why the Red Hawk comes forward. My client that I told you gave me a message said to me, interesting, Sherry, today I saw a Red Hawk sitting on a post and right behind the Red Hawk, there were three doves on the same wire and they didn't, the Red Hawk didn't even see them sitting there or didn't seem to notice. And I said, that's interesting. I'm the Red Hawk. The Red Hawk wasn't seeing things from a higher perspective and didn't realize that peace, serenity, prophecy, power, gentleness, forgiveness was right there behind them. So there's a message. I said, there's something that you're not seeing. There's something that I wasn't seeing. Peace and happiness and, and, and uh, resolution, harmony, prophecy, fulfillment, soulmate connection is closer than you think. You don't even see it. It's right there. So that was a huge message, right? Um, is there anything else that I need to bring forward? Well, balancing your work home and your home life um, as a single woman, right? As an independent woman, she doesn't have time to worry about competition. She has no competition if she's an enlightened being. We have no competition, none. Um, we get busy. We get after the honey. We're taking care of ourselves here. You don't see anybody, any man in this in this picture or anybody else. It's her and spirit working together. But we need to find a balance. It's, I don't know what time it is right now. It's probably 10 o'clock at night. It's going to be a long time before this reading is finished and I upload it and I'm working, doing sage wands. I'm doing a lot, right? I have to right now. But it is important that we find a balance be between our home life and our work life or we burn out. Now for me, I get making my sage wands and I'm, I'm not even, I'm in my head. It's like, it's, um, it's like a meditation for me. That's why it's so powerful. I work with the crystals. I'm working with the sage. I'm smelling the sage. I'm doing Reiki healing. And I'm not talking to anyone on my website. I'm just wrapping the wands, right? I'm getting everything ready. And that's when we, when we do that mindless work. It doesn't require, you know, me to figure out a math skill, right? I, I have a certain way of doing it. It gets kind of frustrating sometimes to put it together. It's not as simple as it looks. When you look at the wands, they're quite difficult to make. Um, but I'm concentrating on that. And I get... A lot of processing time done. I, I think about all of the messages that I've been getting synchronistically. I think about the messages I've been getting from my clients. And I'm integrating everything together. So balancing. Um, so that's a good balance. But it's time to turn the lights off when it gets dark and you start getting tired. I, I don't realize, oh my gosh, look what time it is. It's almost 10 o'clock and I haven't done the weekly reading because I'm so embroiled in my work. So this is for men and for women. This could be you. 
This could be a woman in, or a man in your life. This could just be the energy that you're holding, right? The energy could be any sign and you're holding this energy. You need to balance your work life and your home life. Are you ignoring this one? My twin is. My twin is. He's not here. I'm alone. So are you ignoring somebody in your life because of work? I don't know. Do you have to reach out to somebody? All right. That's for fire signs. Aries. So let's find out how this applies for Sagittarius. This deck is, um, it's so big. See how, how heavy the deck is? My hands are so little. So it's, uh, I have to kind of shuffle it in a different way. I'll shuffle it down the floor and then I'll, I'll let you guys watch me drop it. I like sitting down here like this on the floor. I've been thinking about this lately. I like sitting Indian style, cross-legged. I sit cross-legged at the movie theaters too. <laughs> I got my... My beautiful Cherokee warrior behind me. I love him. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Sagittarius, how does this apply in your life? Oh, please don't tip over. Okay, there we go. Sagittarius, correct for neutrality. Communication, how does this apply in your life? So like I said, let me just stop really quickly. Um, this is your card. Communication. This is about communication. Do you need to communicate with that woman? That's why I said that, right? This is about communication. So be careful how you communicate. Be open to standing corrected. And do you need to communicate? Do you need to clear up communication issues with that woman? Are you that woman? Or is that woman someone in your life? Okay. Ten of spring. This is very interesting as well. So for Sagittarius, ten of fire, right? And this is talking to you. So in communication, this is talking about work as well. And they're telling you that you're overwhelmed. You got 10 wands on your back. 10 of wands. All work, no play. Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So what Spirit is asking you to do is ask for assistance. Can you see the cards? Is that close enough? I have to cut it back this way. I could zoom in possibly, but... No, I can't. Why can't I? That's annoying. I could bring her forward and let you see her. But basically, she's carrying 10 wands. It's too much for her to carry. So you've got angelic support. You're, you're being asked to ask spirit to help delegate authority. You don't have to do it all, right? You're overwhelmed. And this, again, is another message for Sagittarius. It's time to play. Too much work makes, you know, all work, no play makes Jill a very dull girl. You've got too many responsibilities on your plate. So ask spirit, you know, can you take some of this from me? Can you make my light load, my load lighter? Also, allow others to help you. Don't feel like you have to be Wonder Woman or Wonder, you know, Superman. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Right? Song right now, Mama said it doesn't, it, it's a little complicated. Don't give up. It's a little complicated. So maybe that's another message. You are going through a difficult time right now and spirit saying it's not going to go, it's not going to last it's a, it's a bit complicated right now but ask spirit to help you at this time you're working too hard you're taking on too much don't be afraid to ask spirit to help you and don't think that they won't step in because they will we've been shown to pay attention to the synchronistic signs and messages i've given you a million of them showing you that spirit is definitely on our side so is this you or is this someone in your life this is a fire sign and we're talking to sagittarius right you're a heavy burden here. Look at your clothes. You're not taking care of yourself. Are you working so hard to take care of other people and not thinking of you, not giving back to yourself? Giving, giving, giving and not getting back because that's not okay. It's got to be in it's got to be an equal give and take. Also spirit saying you're at risk of not only burnout, but you're you're at risk of health issues like heart attack or whatever it is. Maybe you're actually doing physical labor. I don't know. But you're putting yourself at risk. Your body is being run down. This is a message to me. I take all these signs. So this is for anyone who chose Bastet or for Sagittarius. <laughs> I, I, I take them all. Okay? So that was your message. And now we go to Leo's. Leo's, how does communication and Archangel Gabriel, how can he assist you? How can she assist you? I see Gabriel as a female myself. Because I am the messenger, right? And I resonate with, with Gabriel. Correct for neutrality. Because it could be G Gabrielle or Gabriel. <laughs> Archangel Gabrielle. All right. It's a little complicated, but don't give up. We're here on your team. Leos. 
Seven of Autumn. Now it came in reverse, but I'm not reading these cards in reverse because they're clarifiers, okay? So what's going on here, Leos, is you're waiting for harvest. Spirit's asking you to be patient. You're on the right path, says number seven. You're not to worry. You're sitting there maybe thinking about what you should, go, should do with all of your harvest, all the hard work that you've put in. Maybe you're thinking about where you need to invest your money. Is there somebody that you need to communicate with? Is there a partner that you need to speak to? Do you need to, do you, do you need to arrange things? Are you, are you, do you have some kind of a business deal? I don't like the fact that this is... I'm going to move us down just a squirt because this is not lining up. And I don't like it that way. So let's go like that. It's a song right now. I've always had high hopes. I've always... Ha I, I didn't know how, but I always had a vision. So this is you sitting there thinking about your future, Right? And Spirit is saying, allow us to help you. Communicate your vision. I get double emphasis on this message, by the way, for Leo's double emphasis. So maybe you feel like things aren't moving along as quickly as all that. You're saying, I don't have that big harvest in front of me. Spirit says, be patient, you will. You're going to get it. You're going to be, you're, you're, maybe what you just actually need to do is look back and see how successful you actually have been. So right now, how far have you gone? What do I need to do? What do I need to do in terms of communication? I'm seeing the number three. Is there a third party situation? Are there three people involved in something? Three, full circle completion. Have you completed a project and you're wondering where you're going to go next? Three is a very powerful number. It's a number of unity. When I say third party, it doesn't have to be an affair. It means other people involved. Are you working or thinking about what you're doing as far as partnerships? It needs to be people that are unified with you, people who have the same goals. You're planning for the future, right? Your wings are ready. You're, 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 you've got full transformation in there. So you're trying to figure out where you're going next. So this is talking about a rest. All of us, all fire signs are being asked to rest. This one's sitting, right? Take a rest. Use your time to just contemplate, ponder, figure out where you want to go. What will I, where will I put my money? Where will I invest my money? Who should I line up with? What, what would be, who would be a good partner for me to take on? What would be of most benefit for my family, myself, my spiritual path? Because when you think about your spiritual path and how you can help yourself as well as others, spirit steps in because we have Archangel Gabriel here. So maybe what's going on, maybe you're waiting for something and Archangel Gabriel said there's a message coming, okay? Because this is the messenger. Or are you needing to communicate with somebody? Okay, those are your messages. Let's go to... The cocky rooster, or earth signs. So it's interesting how they were chosen. Bastet, the cat goddess. Bastet is the goddess of home, hearth and home. She is also the protector of the animals, of the cats. Cats are fiercely independent. They are, um, they got nine lives. Right when you think they're down, they're back, right? They're strong. Cats are very inquisitive. They, they know when to sleep. They, they take care of themselves. They, they know, they groom themselves. They know about self-love, self-care. So those are all messages that were important for fire signs. Um, the cocky rooster. The rooster knows his own knowability. He crows. So it's about crowing, right? He wakes people up in the morning. So do you need to wake up? Do you need to wake somebody else up in your life? Are you a little bit too cocky? Are you somebody who likes to have a harem? Do you like to have a following? I call them the cocky rooster for a reason. Are you someone that other people may look at that way? Maybe you're not, right? Are you very desirable and you're running around? Or do you need to recognize that you are desirable and you need to strut your stuff? Lots of messages. So for cocky rooster or earth signs, let's see what your message is. Okay, five of, so, uh, five of scrolls. I'll bring it up close so you can take a look at it. It did come up in reverse. You see this one in her beautiful palatial palace. And she's got all of these scrolls on the table next to her. And she's got all of these books of knowledge here. The word is diversity. She's looking out over her land. What is she going to do? Where is she going to go? What are the options that she has? But five is also the number of complications, arguments, troubles, fights, disagreements between people. So... The fact that she's surveying her land and she's got all of those scrolls on her table right at her ready. She's got all of the books piled up in front of her. The number five is talking about a significant uh, change in your life. 
and she's looking out over the field. I'm listening to the song. Song is diversify. I mean a song. The word is diversify, right? So I have to diversify. What are my options? I've got many, many options, right? I'm, and I'm showing you the number five. The number five is talking about a significant change that's occurring in your life always for the better. However, this queen or this, I called her a queen. She's wearing a blue dress. The blue is the color of truth. Do you need to speak your truth? Because upside down, you're in the reverse. So it could be that there's too many things happening at once, everything happening all at one time. It could be that the alternatives or the options in front of you, there's so many that you don't know which way to go. I don't know what to do, right? I've got so many things in front of me. I, I just, but Spirit's telling you right now, you've got the freedom to change things. You, this is your life, so don't worry. Whatever it is that's been happening, whatever the, the, the confusion is, maybe there's disagreements about how to proceed because the number five is definitely talking about people having different ideas, different perspectives, right? So recognize that you are needing to focus on what will bring the highest good to you as well as to others. You've got opportunities in front of you. You could go in a million different directions. Allow yourself to think about what would be in the highest of the highest benefit for you. You don't have to settle on one thing right now. Maybe you have, um, oh, this is really interesting for uh, someone that I just read for. I just got the message in this. So you've got a couple different options, right? I got options. And I don't need to make a choice right now. I can maybe try on a couple things. I could take a look at that. Um, the person I spoke about in the beginning, the one that um, has these two people that she's got in love with her, right? And she's trying to make a decision between these two people and one's wanting to propose. Don't make a decision. You you don't make a choice. You don't give an answer on that. You look at the, what's in front of you. You look at the book of knowledge, the books of knowledge, many, which is all of your lessons, all of the messages. You have scrolls, which are messages delivered by spirit. And you recognize that whatever change you make, it needs to be in your highest good. This is a significant change always for your better. But you have cho choices. You are a part of it. If you choose to accept a proposal from somebody who is an abusive, abusive person, you're making a choice, right? So you don't have to make a choice with all of the stuff in front of you. You don't have to say, yes, it's going to be that or yes, it's going to be that. Maybe you need to step back and think about it. Get things a little bit more clear. Song right now, why don't you meet me in the middle? So there's like a balancing that needs to happen. That's the message. Okay, so let's see. Let's break it down. And we'll go Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. No, no, I'm sorry. We're, we're Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. As soon as I said that, I've been living a lonely life. I've been trying to do it right. I've been sleeping here instead, sleeping in my bed. You belong to me. I belong to you. I don't think you're right for him. Isn't that interesting? The person... That I, I just said that to my friend. I don't think he's right for you. He's definitely not right for you. That's my opinion. But the song is now backing it up. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. And she is a Virgo. So I guess with that, we're going to start with Virgos. Virgos. Oh. I'm sorry. We weren't supposed to do this. But isn't that interesting? I guess I'm, I am doing it this way. So the, what we got at first was the options, okay? We had the queen looking at the scrolls in front of her, all the different options. And now you see the queen of roses. So it's interesting that, that I did that. That's okay. So the queen of roses is sitting there looking at something in her hand, isn't she? She's got options. What is she going to do? What is, what is it that she's focused on something in her hands? She's got beautiful roses all around her. Oh, I'm getting a really loud message. This one's got, this one's very wealthy. Look at all these beautiful flowers they, sh they shower me with. And she's thinking, it's not about the money. It's not about the roses. It's not about this. Where's the person? The person's not here with me. I'm alone. That's what I'm getting. It doesn't matter how many roses you give me. It doesn't matter what words, flowery words. I'm standing alone. That's what I'm getting right now. The Queen of Roses is showing me the emphasis to her is lonely. She's lonely. So this could be speaking to you about a job. This could be speaking to you about a relationship. What it's telling you is that you've amassed all of this around you and you're alone. Are you happy? Is it worth having to give up? What have you given up in order to have what you have in front of you? Interesting. 
Hmm. Now, another message. The song, You Belong to Me, I Belong to You. Someone's getting a message, a passionate message. She's thinking about somebody. There's love all around her. She can be imagining these roses. She's feeling this energetic connection. Hmm. But song right now, lately I've been thinking, I want you to be happier. This is a song speaking about someone who knows that they're not happy in that situation. And I want you to be happier, so I'm going to leave. So I was right, my first intuition. And that's the thing, when I read a message, I'm not reading according necessarily to the to what this guidebook says, like this, this oracle card book. I read what my higher self is telling me. And the first thing I saw was this person is alone. This person has amassed all of this wealth, but they're in this castle by themselves. And they're looking into the one rose, wishing for something. And so this song is saying right now, you know, this means I have to leave. I think it, you would be happier. We're not happy in this situation. We were in a situation, but it didn't work for us. And if we both jump now, we can take our lessons with us. Because what we want to have is what she's actually dreaming about. And this could be a male, right? This could be a female Virgo or a male Virgo. And what you have, what you're dreaming about is the love that's in your hand. You're dreaming about something, someone. It talks about a loving connection, a relationship with someone that you know may deepen at this time. It may become way more meaningful. It might be that someone comes into your life. Someone appears to you. Someone shows up because you're alone. Someone might appear or maybe you're the one but you're being told to be open to the connection. It might be a romantic one, or like I said, it might be a it might be a work situation, it might be a family or friend. But there's two different messages here. The one, doesn't matter how beautiful, how much money, you're alone. It could be, it doesn't matter how it you know, once a soul connection, you can have a soul connection, and, and once you've learned your lesson, that soul connection is done. And if you're not getting something positive out of it, like this song, lately I've been thinking, I want you to be happier. And, of course, I want to be happier, too. So I'll go. I'll go. And if we both jump, we can take our lessons and move forward in life and get what we really want, what we are dreaming of. That real true connection, that soul connection, that, that bliss, or that friendship, or that partnership that really feels right, that fits with us, right? That's your message right now. So it's speaking about a connection. A true connection. Not, it's, it's about also that you have to be open in this way. Now, as I said, it could be that someone's coming back to you, someone that you've been thinking about. It could be coming back around. It could be representing a woman in your life. This could be someone loving you, longing for you, missing you. She's a queen. That's how you see her. We saw the queen, remember? And the queen was talking about options. She may have options, but she's, she may have all of these suitors all around her, but she holds on to that one. That's the one she loves. Is this someone you need to go speak to? Is this someone that's coming to speak to you? This could be a male or a female. Okay, these are all the different ways that this applies. Interesting how Spirit chose that this was going to be Virgo's message instead of Capricorn's. It also speaks about that if there is someone coming back into your life, there's a happy resolution. It could be that there's a happy resolution to an issue with your mother, a queen, right? Or your father, or a friend. If you've had difficulty and you've had distance between one another, the love is there. There's a lot of love. She feels the energy. She's connecting energetically. Okay, so I'm going to now use... That was that was, Vir, that was Virgo. So I'm going to use the other deck to clarify because if I don't, I'm going to forget that we had options. Let's see if I can find it. Sorry, you guys. Interesting. Correct neutrality. I guess we just really needed to see that picture. So the Queen of Roses could represent a fire sign. It could just represent a passionate woman. It could represent that energy. It could be yourself. It just could be someone that you view as a queen. Now somebody, of course, is a queen. Is somebody, if she's a queen, this person is, is not a young person. This person is somebody who is in control of herself. She's reached a place of authority. She's reached a place of, of, of um, respect and honor. And clearly, she's cloaked in red, so she's very she's a loving queen, right? We didn't have her upside down or in reverse. Good Lord, can I please? Can you show me? Here. Where is it? <laughs> That's why I had to use two, I have to use two decks, and here I ended up using the same deck. There's so many cards in here. Who are we working with next? Capricorn. All right, here she is, the Five of Scrolls. As soon as I said that, that's interesting. 
I said, who were you working with? Capricorn? And then the, and then the, the one with the options pops up. Interesting. Song right now. I won't miss all the fighting that we always did. Blow me one last kiss. Interesting. That came up with Capricorn. Correct for neutrality. It says you or someone else in your life. Is there an ending? Because there's definitely a significant change. And even if you don't feel like it is always for the better. No more battles for me. You'll be calling a trick because you will no longer sleep. So clearly that cup, the song before with the Virgos, you know, we're not getting along. This isn't working. So I'm going to leave. We'll both be happier. This is the woman speaking the same thing, right? I agree. There's a change in my life and it's going to be for the better. Correct for neutrality on all levels. This is you Capricorn or others in your life. I think you're full of it. The world, it's complete. The world says you've graduated. Whatever this situation is, it, you've graduated from it. It's time to move on. It's full circle completion. It's freedom to move in any direction. The, you have options in front of you, right? You have may have mastered some very challenging situation in your life. You've mastered it well, or you have just come to a conclusion of a job, a project, a relationship, and it's time to move forward. So there are your options in front of you. You can go anywhere you want to go right now. But they're telling you that this journey that you were on, just like the song, blow me one last kiss, it's over. It's done. You've either finished a job or a relationship is done. Whether it's a soul contract, a marriage, a partnership, it's, it's clear that both aren't happy in it and both are moving on. That, that is very, very clear. Now, for other people that aren't in that type of situation, there could be travel. Also, there could be travel. You could have ended a project somewhere. Um, you, now, where, where do I go next, right? You've got all these direct, uh, options in front of you and you're trying to decide where do you go next. Um, maybe you're traveling. You're definitely, this is, about, this is about world travel. So it's across the country or even out of, out of the country. So you may be coming home. You may be going away. This may be in another place, right? You may be returning home or you may be trying to decide where you're going to go next for your job. Maybe your job takes you around the world. All we know is it's complete. The project, the relationship, the situation, it's done. It's, and when, whenever one door closes, another door opens because it talks about new beginnings. Again, look at two and one is three. Full circle completion, right? It's also a very powerful number for feminine energy, which is the V, victory, but it's a very powerful number, number three. It talks about unity. So when you're thinking about your options and where you're meant to go, follow my lead. You want someone like you, right? You want someone that you're aligned with. You just know that there's a sense of completion now. Okay, so for Capricorn, Virgo Capricorn, who's the other? Taurus. Gosh, you guys. Song, I never knew you were the one waiting for me. Someone's going back. I won't give you up this time. So something has ended and somebody is going back to someone else. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Taurus, how would this apply in your life? The options in your life. How does it apply for you? Five. We're getting a lot of significant change happening right now. Five of fire. So, um, five of wands. So, this is, again, I t uh, this is the disagreements, right? This is people not agreeing on a situation. This is um, opposing opinions. You know, you see these two little guys sitting here, maybe workmates, they may be partners. We just talked about um, a relationship of two people speaking and both of them weren't happy, right? They, they have different, they have varying ideas about, about how something's supposed to get done. So it could represent issues at work, you know, opposing energies at work that one person wants to do things this way, somebody wants to do things in a different way. It could be that somebody wants to be the leader, Right? Because they're talking about overly ambitious people, people not thinking of others, thinking only of themselves, just wanting to be the head, wanting to be the boss. It's definitely just talking about challenges. And you've got options in front of you. So because of these challenges that are going on in front of you, is it worth it? This is about evaluating the situation and asking yourself, would it be better for me to leave this situation? Or is there something that I can do personally to come to like a win-win situation where, where both people are happy. Because right now, we don't have happiness here. It's, it's, it's drama. 
It could be drama at work. It could be drama amongst family members. We got, you know, the holidays coming. Everybody's energy is, you know, everyone's tired. People are working long hours. People are putting out a lot of money and they're stressing about that. So energies are tossed up. So can you think about that perhaps? Take that into account and in, in thinking about ways that, that maybe you can reach kind of a, a agreeable conclusion so that everyone gets what they want. It might be some people like a challenge, right? Some people, they get off on that and it gets them to move forward. And you might just say, you know what? I don't need the drama. So you've got options in front of you. What is it that you need to make your focus right now? Right now, the energy needs to lighten up. It's heavy. The energy is not fun. So... I'm seeing one, two, three, four blue butterflies. So four means stability. All four corners on the ground. Happy home, happy work, happy life, stable. Stability, things are not stable, okay? Four also says, however, that the angels are there. They're working with you. They're helping you, protecting you, guiding you. Talk, call to them. Ask for their assistance if things are very difficult for you. I'm also seeing at the very top of this a wasp. And that means be very careful of your words because a wasp stings. And sometimes, like I said, we'll say something that'll sting and it's difficult to take words back. It remains. Um, it also means swat away the drama. If somebody's going to be nasty, stay away from the drama, right? No to drama. No drama to me. I'm shutting the door. You keep yourself out of it. Diversify. That means maybe... I need to go in a different direction, right? Maybe this, this, this isn't working for me. So it's too competitive. It's too aggressive. I want more of a, it's not that I, I can't handle like aggressive workforce where, you know, um, in the workforce, there's a lot of competition out there. Um, I, I have got what it takes. I've got self-confidence. It's not that. Sometimes it's just a really aggressive, angry attitude and the energy is just draining and toxic. So you have options and you need to ask yourself, is it time to diversify? Do I need to go somewhere else, right? Okay, so there is, for those who chose, the cocky rooster. Is somebody a cocky rooster? Is somebody being a bully? Is somebody being a bully at your work? Or are you? Okay, so now we go to the wish box that my best friend Diane gave me. I have learned that if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams, go for it. You will find unexpected help along the way, right? Just go over what, after what you dream. That's a message coming out for air signs right now. What is it that matters to you, right? Where is your passion? What are your dreams? Don't let them go. Hold on to them. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Air signs. Two more shuffles I just heard. And then at the end of the reading, I will ask for an affirmator card and a positive affirmation for each group, like air signs, water signs, fire signs, okay? Correct for neutrality on all levels. So if anybody would like help with a, a private reading or long distance Reiki healing or any of my items from my shamanic, Merlin's Shamanic Toolbox, which is on my, you can go on my website. You can find it at www.theangelswhisper.com. My email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Please click subscribe so that you get notified of these videos. Please click like if you find the information useful. You don't have to leave a nasty comment if it doesn't apply to you because it may not be your message, right? There's lots of readers out there. Um, I appreciate your comments, but I don't like seeing fighting in my comments. Um, I will delete them. Uh, I, I saw two people fighting with one another, and I thought, this is ridiculous. You know, this is about guidance and helping us all move forward. You know, when I speak and I read for signs, I'm not taking anything personally because there are people, certain fire signs, certain um, air signs, certain... Uh, um, water signs, certain earth signs that have not been my friend, right? But I can't, I have to read for, uh, without, without allowing my, uh, my own personal feelings about specific people to get involved because there's a gazillion of every sign and it doesn't mean, you know, all people are that way. So if there's a very specific message for a sign and that isn't you, don't take offense, right? Don't try and fit it to your, to your situation. You know, just because there's a vindictive Scorpio or just because there's a um, backstabbing air sign or just because there's a um, deceptive water sign doesn't mean everybody is. And just because there's an arrogant fire sign doesn't mean that everybody is, right? 
We're all different. And I read absolutely neutral. That's why I say correct for neutrality on all levels. So if anybody would like a sage wand um, or a sachet with in, inside of the, the little sachet bundles, mm, it smells so good. I, there's a Reiki charge crystal and the wands are wrapped, of course, with a Reiki charge crystal. And I also have the diffuser bracelets made of Reiki charge crystals with lava stone and you drop your own essential oils on the lava stone. And uh, some cool things. There's a lots of things on there. Go, go peruse my website. And go to my testimonials so that you will actually see what others have to say. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> clearing. Clearing, clearing is necessary. That's why we need sage. Oh, somebody asked me today. Somebody has asthma and they said, do you think that the sage is going to bother my asthma? And I said, you know, I wouldn't want you to start with a wand if you don't know. Um, if you can have somebody else sage the house for you and then you air the house out, it doesn't, it's not going to stay smoky in your house. Um, you'll get the same benefits. Or um, burn the sage and open the windows. I don't know. Uh, I would suggest, and what I suggested with the person, is that you start with a, with a sage bundle, right? Like a little bundle, small, medium, or whatever. Don't invest in a bigger wand if you're not going to burn through the whole thing because you find that it bothers you, Right? But I always like move the sage around. I mean, I don't sit there and let it smoke myself out. I, I, I've, sm I've saged myself, for sure. I sage my cards. But um, I go around, and then I turn my ceiling fans on to get it really moving around. I sage all mirrors. By the way, mirrors, computers, and televisions are windows in from the world into your life. So this is something very powerful. I always keep my television covered because that's a window from... And these smart TVs, I don't have, I, I, I don't know if I do. They listen. They hear what's going on. And uh, somebody said that uh, their smart TV was listening to their conversation. And they started getting uh, messages on their cell phone uh, of things that they were talking about when they were watching television because it picked it up. And you know how you'll be talking to someone or text someone and all of a sudden on your cell phone you'll get, hey, are you looking for cannabis oil? Oh, really? Thanks for looking into my personal stuff. So I keep a cloth over that window and I keep a, a band-aid over my uh, thing on my, on my uh, computer and a friend of mine actually makes little covers for the cell phones, which I want to put on because there's that. Um, so I sage all windows because every window is an opening. So I do that, then I turn my ceiling fans on so everything gets moving through and once the whole room is smoky, I open all of the windows and doors with the fans on and clear it out, right? Because we don't want this, we want to get the air out because we're releasing it. All right, so for those who chose the wish box or air signs, what is your overall message? Wow, Queen of Roses, I like. Remember I told you that Aries was shown that there was someone in their life that was mean to them, that they did it because they were protecting someone that they loved and that, that, that there was someone that was actually their friend. I feel like she's this queen. I just got that and that, that makes me feel good. So I felt that and, I'm hope, I'm, I'm, and I, I feel like that's confirmation. So here, when I look at this queen, which is interesting, it's very interesting because when I look at this queen, I don't get a negative energy. When I looked at the first queen, I thought the negative energy, I felt like someone was lonely, missing someone, right? And it doesn't matter how much money that you spend on me. It doesn't matter how much is around me. I'm alone. I'm lonely. But when I look at this one, I think of someone who's looking and remembering someone that they love. They're, they are a queen. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of passion. And it might be the same situation that it really doesn't matter how much is around me this is what matters to me, but I have a, I get a very loving energy from this. Are you missing someone? Wow, the song, I came home like a stone and fell heavy into your arms. I forgave and I, you forgave and I won't forget. Wow, I fell heavy into your arms. Are you missing someone? I feel like that someone's gonna come home. I feel like the one is going to come home and tell you that. So be open to the communication. I feel like this is a family member. This woman is loving and supportive. This person loves the one that's been missing. And there's love all around her. I feel very emotional for her. 
It could be a man. It could be a woman. But right now, there's another energy that's being spoken that you as the queen need to speak loving words. You may need to be the one that comes home and says, I'm sorry. But this is showing you, you need to look at me when I tell you this. This is showing you that there's a happy resolution to a problem. And this song says, I came home like the stone and fell heavy into your arms. That one needs your love. That one needs for you to tell them that you love them. There will be a, a resolution. There will be a positive conclusion to a very difficult time. God, it's peaceful connections, reconnections. You forgave and I won't forget. Who forgave? Is this you? Is this somebody else in your life that is forgiving of you? Or is it you that's needing to forgive someone? Or is it you that just wants to welcome someone home and tell them that you love them? Because there's a positive, positive message in this. This is beautiful. I'm very, very happy to see this. I will wait for you. She's waiting for someone. I will wait for you. That queen is waiting for someone. Someone she loves very much. And they're coming home. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Somebody may have gone, may have gone away. They may have gone, been not well. They may have gone into rehab. They may have gone away for work and they've been so sorely missed. They may have been in a difficult situation and she's waited. And the person is saying, I'll be strong. I'll use my head alongside my heart. Somebody's grown up. Somebody's recognized. Beautiful. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Who are we dealing with here? Air signs? Let's go to Gemini. A tethered mind free from the lies. A tethered mind free from the lies. I came home heavy like a stone and fell into your arms. Isn't that a beautiful picture? A beautiful, beautiful wrapping up to a situation that's been very, very difficult. God, it's beautiful. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Gemini, how does this apply? This queen... This happy resolution, this love. Princess of autumn, studious, responsible, cheerful, mischievous. So this could be a, a, an earth sign, a mischievous child. Um, it's, it's talking about work. It could be that someone was away at work, right? Somebody's been gone working. Can you see that? Are they both in there? Yes. Okay. So it's talking about plans going out well because we've already known that there's going to be a positive resolution to a situation. Right? Maybe someone needs a little bit of encouragement because you're being told you need a little bit of a push. So maybe someone's a little nervous to come home. I came home and fell heavy into your arms. Maybe someone's nervous to come home. And Spirit's saying, you know what? They need a little bit of a nudge. Maybe you need to give them a little bit of encouragement. Maybe you need to give them a kind word and say, you know what? I'm here. My arms are open. Or maybe you're the one that's waiting for this one to come back. This one that's been away working. This one that's a little bit mischievous. Very responsible, very studious, very hard worker. A little bit of a difficult one. Maybe this is your child coming home. They have earth in their chart or they're just a real hard worker. And you've missed them and they're coming home. Because it's happy news. It's also happy news about career. Right? Good news. It's, it's positive as far as the work that you've put in. But I'm not focusing as much on the career because this queen is talking about waiting and a reconciliation and a, and a resolution to a difficult time in your family. So maybe you've had problems with work. Financially, it's, it's been very difficult. But there's good news. There's good news. This beautiful, beautiful Geminis. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Libra, how does this affect you? Correct for neutrality on all levels. Libra. Correct for neutrality on all levels. So, seven of autumn, harvest. You were wondering about what you're going to do as far as your work's concerned. You're planning your next steps. Harvest abundance represents many things. It doesn't just have to be material. It can be, it can be love. It can be, what, what do I do next? What am I supposed to do here? Um, and where do I invest my time? Where do I invest my money? My time doesn't have to be just invested. Your time, you invest your time in people. You invest your time in projects. You invest your time in many different ways. I'm thinking, right? There's been, there's been difficulty. There's been difficulty in a family. I'm missing someone. I'm loving someone. 
there's a positive resolution to it. There's a lot of love. This queen has a lot of love for you. My daughter is a Libra, and I'm telling you, I am this queen, and this is my child, and I love her. There's love here, and we've had difficulties, and my arms are open. So there's just a personal message going out. So that might apply to you as well, right? This is a child sitting here. This is a very intelligent child, very hardworking child, very, um, very creative child, someone that's put a lot of work into something. But this mother's put a lot of work into her family. What do you need to do? What are your next steps, young one? Right? A young one can be 30 years old. There's just that personal message. And when I get a message like that, it's definitely going to go out because it's going to apply to other people. Now, the Queen of Roses, maybe you're seeing yourself here, right? This is where you are and you're dreaming about success and spirit saying, you know what? It, it, things are going to turn out well. You've done well for yourself. You're growing. Maybe you've seen yourself as a child, but you're actually a woman. You're growing into this. It might just be the growth. But there's a beautiful ending a beautiful coming home. There's abuse. Maybe you're going home. Maybe this one's coming home again to see mom. I've been working really, really hard. I don't know where I'm going next, but I'm coming home for Christmas. Might be that situation, right? Hard working one again on the right path, doing a good job. Not quite sure where I'm going to go. I've got to think about what my next steps are. Maybe you're going to go home and get some advice. Maybe your mom or your dad or this beautiful queen in your life, whoever this could represent, has some advice to give you. This person obviously knows what to do, right? This person's obviously successful. So maybe maybe that's some advice that you need to ask of that person. Okay. Libras, we did you. Now we go to Aquarius. I'm pleased that this is moving along at the clip that it is because I felt like, oh my God, we're going to be doing this all night. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Aquarius. Wow. The song right now, her hair falls without even without her even trying. She's so beautiful. But what's so cool about this song? I know when I compliment her, she won't believe me. It's so sad to think that she can't see what I see. And when she asks me, do I look okay? I say, when I see your face, there's not a thing that I would change. So the fact that this came up, you're looking at the Queen of Fire, double. <laughs> queen of Roses, Queen of Summer, loving, comforting, emotional, intuitive. Can you see this? Listen to your heart, intuitive insights that you can trust, taking care of yourself, perhaps a little, and others, perhaps a bit too much. So here there's this queen that's been waiting, right? Here's this one that's been working. She's out in the field doing her thing. This could represent two different people. This could represent a man and a woman, or a man and a woman, or two women. It just represents two people that are at the top of their game, right? This one is very successful, has already amassed their wealth. This one has been working very, very hard out in the field is very successful as well. Both are queens. This one's been giving more of herself though. This one's looks like they're kind of taking care of their self, right? Or is set. This one's working hard. So spirit's saying you're working too much. Trust the intuition. Trust what spirit is bringing you. You've got little fairies on your wings here speaking to you. They're telling you things. They're illuminating things to you right now. Pay attention to the messages that you're getting. You're getting little signposts all along the way. There's dragonflies all around you telling you to hold on to your dreams. You're very loving. You're very comforting. You're emotional. You're intuitive. You're, you have the beautiful earthy. This, is, this feels, I know it says queen of summer, but it feels like the empress, right? The empress energy. And here's this queen over here. This one that is thinking possibly of this one. This one's back is to this one. This one is looking over at this one. Could this one be a mother and this one be a daughter? Could this one be a father and this one be a son? Could this be a lover, right? It doesn't have to be gender specific. But this one is looking over at this one. This one's out here working so hard. Giving, giving, giving. And this one's dreaming. Reach this, not working so hard. It's kind of maybe gotten to that place already. Can this one give that one some, some help and assistance? Or is it just, you know what? You need to be more like this. 
this woman in a song, she doesn't realize how beautiful she is. She doesn't realize that she is this. This could be the same person. You don't realize that this is who you are. You, you're out there in the fields, but this is how others view you. You're so busy helping others and so busy doing your work that you're not even realizing. She's working with the sunflower. She's listening to her higher self. Sunflowers follow spirit's guidance across the air. So busy, not even realizing how many people she's been helping. But this is how she's viewed. Song right now, I think about her and she knows it. Maybe I should stop and start confessing. Is this person here thinking about this one? Or is this one out here work, work, working, thinking about this one and this one is missing them, dreaming, waiting for them? As I said, it could be male, female, right? She pulls me in enough to keep me guessing. They're energetically connecting. Okay, maybe I should stop and start confessing. Sounds like it, Aquarius. Okay, so now we go to the gazebo, the sparkly gazebo. I love that little gazebo. Isn't that cute? Or fire signs. No, we did fire signs. Water signs. I got excited because I'm part water. Well, we're all part water, but that's my moon. Okay, song right now. There's nothing holding me back. This is the one who should start confessing how he's feeling. Correct for neutrality, water signs. What is going to be your message? Let me shuffle these really good. There's nothing holding me back. She says she's never afraid. Ooh, I'm thinking of those two signs. One out there in the field, hand on her hip. The other one all protected inside that palace. She says she's never afraid. She says, see, a picture of everybody naked. Right? She's not into hesitation. She's out there doing it. Well, the other one's up there in the palace hiding out. Maybe I should stop and start confessing. If we fell, I'd know we'd be okay together because that one's a go-getter. You take all my inhibitions, <laughs> nothing holding me back. You take me places that tear up my reputation, manipulate my decisions. <laughs> oh, sounds like he likes her. Okay, water signs. Sounds like a spitfire. Whoa, water signs, beautiful. The bird's nest. So this is talking about how house and home and love. Wow, three of force is the bird's nest. Now look at that, look at that. That little nest is all feathered, really nice. The sun's shining on there. That robin has got fresh worms for the little brood that's hanging out there. This is talking about new beginnings. That's beautiful. Everything is gorgeous in that and it came out upright. So it's a signal basically about expanding, expansion, new beginnings, new growth, new businesses, new relationships, an extension to your family. Are you somebody coming into your family, new friends, networking? You clearly have to work at it because those little birds don't just get that worm. Mom's got to go get it, right? Mom's got to bring the bacon home. And the nest has to be built by dad or mom and dad together, by the way, P.S., might be telling you that there's babies on the way, pregnancy coming, could be new partnerships. There could be somebody moving into your home. You could be renovating your home, buying a new home. Fun! Could be talking about a new business location because with birds you'd be traveling, but communication with birds as well. You might be moving out to the country. There's expansion of some sort and rewarding expansion. So Spirit says, make sure that you pull together with people of like mind, spiritual people, awakened individuals. The yellow is talking about friendship, right? It's about self-worth as well and new beginnings, growth. There's definitely about growth and abundance. This is beautiful. I want to live there, please. I'd like to live in a tree house. Gorgeous. Okay. I want to hide the truth. I want to shelter you. But with the, the beast inside, there's nowhere I can hide. And at the end, he says, I don't know how to do this without your help. So somebody is, somebody is focusing on their fear. They're focusing on what they see as their flaws and not recognizing that we all have them. But it's nice because at the end of the song, he says, I can't do this without your help. So I like that because it's like reaching out, being part of a team, right? And three says, unity. It's where my demons hide. We all have demons. We need to learn to love our demons, right? Now, there may be an issue because of uh, the birds are talking about gossip. 
There may have been gossip about family. There may have been gossip about you. There may have been gossip about your hang-ups or your demons or your addictions or your issues or whatever it was. It may be issues within your home. We'll see because there's good news happening here. Pisces, I don't want to let you down, but I'm hell-bound. Though this is all for you, don't want to hide the truth, then don't because the color is blue and that's the truth, speaking the truth. So two of spring, we're talking about partnerships here and it's talking about a bright future, right? And you know what? It's going to cause, it's, it doesn't come easy. It comes with work. The song right now, this person's got difficulty. I'm not quite sure how to do this without your help. Well, that's fine because you've got a partner that wants to work with you and you've got a bright future. Look, bright future in front of you. Yes, there's going to be hard work involved in it, but nothing wonderful comes easy, right? It talks about partnering with people that share your vision and share your dreams. And when you do that, then progress is wonderful. And it's progress is being made. It's woven in my fate. I need to let you go. Your eyes, they shine so bright. I want to save that light. I can't escape this now unless you show me how. You're not going alone. You've got a partnership. This is a purple boat that's flipped over here. This canoe, they're getting ready to go out and carry it together, but it's purple over your emotional waters. That's spiritual. You need to tap into your higher self. The person that's singing the song is coming from their ego self. This is telling you, you have a bright future. You're not doing it alone. You're not going over the emotional waters alone. You've got a partner and spirit is your partner as well. And you have a bright future in front of you. New beginnings. And yes, you know what? There is probably hard work involved, but it's worth it because it's going to be successful. That's your message. Tell me something, girl. Tell me something, boy. Aren't you tired of trying to fill that void, right? Are you ready to move forward? You just got your answer, Pisces. So let's see what Cancer has to say. This beautiful nest. Oh, God, I have a message for somebody. There's somebody that I know that's a Cancer that's been wanting a baby. And Spirit says, keep your hopes positive. They show babies. Whether that's adoption, whether that's intro, you know, intro fertilization, or whether it's natural, they're telling you to keep your hopes positive and keep focused on your dreams. Don't let go of them, no matter what anyone says. Correct for neutrality. The bird's nest for cancer signs. A windfall of money, advice, or assistance from others. A very successful project and a happy change in your career. So, we got all of that and this is just double confirmation. You got the ace. Here's the business. Here's the new home. Here is the, the family situation. Here is the abundance coming forward, right? You could get assistance by spirit. You could get advice from others coming forward to help you. It's going to be successful. This is just confirmation. If you've been worrying about that, if you've been worrying about how you're going to make do, how you're going to figure something out, you can already see that a friend's coming forward to assist you. A friend's coming forward with information right here. Yellow is the sign of friendship, right? It's a, it's a butterfly. It's coming. And it's coming easily. And you can see that this, you're going to have plenty to feed your family. Your nest egg is safe. It's going to be abundant. It's very, very beautiful. This is a very, very positive message for cancer signs. It's gorgeous. I love that. Whatever this abundance is that's coming your way, like I said, it doesn't have to always be money. It could be somebody helping. It could be somebody coming and saying exactly the right thing that you need to hear at the exact right moment. Whatever it is, it makes a difference, right? It could be con somebody connecting you to the perfect person, circumstance, or event meeting up at the exact right time but it's unexpected and it's wonderful it could be somebody that's that's helping you as far as as a counselor as a mentor as a teacher right whatever it is spirit saying also if there is something about finances be wise you've got a family to support right don't be throwing your money around ridiculously think about long term right this is about possible investment like I said, this is possibly a new home. You could be investing in buying a new home. You could be investing in a new business. So it's about wise investments, but they're going to be going to be able to turn into something positive. This is a very, very positive message. There's nothing negative at all. It's also about maybe you are the one that's going to assist somebody. Maybe this is you coming to help this young family or coming to help this new business. Maybe you're the one that has the advice to give because you are a successful business person, teacher, 
family member, friend, right? You could be coming forward to assist another. So let's see for Scorpios, what's going as far as this bird's nest in regards to your life? Correct neutrality. I want to brush my teeth so bad. How many times a day do you guys brush your teeth? I sit there, you know, working away, working away, and I don't even drink any water. I don't do anything. I just work, and I, I should be drinking my water, but I just want to brush my teeth. I could brush my teeth like five times a day. Feels good. Of course, I'm a little bit OCD as far as clean. I'm looking at my carpet right now, and there's like little pieces of sage, dried sage all over the carpet. I've, I swept the floor like, you know, it's all perfect over there, but I didn't get this carpet, and I'm like, ooh. I don't like my carpet messy. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Okay, correct for neutrality on all levels. Scorpio, how does this apply in your life? Ace of Winter, so the Ace of Swords. So, um, it could be the, the water, it, the frozen emotion, that's the first thing that comes to mind when I see the snow is frozen emotion. So things could be a little chilly. I mean, look at the difference. Maybe you're moving from one spot to another. Right? Maybe you're trying to get this business off the ground. You're trying to get this family off the ground. You're trying to get this nest egg going. You're trying to have a child. And it's been, it's, it's been frozen. Things aren't moving forward. Right? So Spirit says, don't be discouraged. Because this is where you were. This is what's coming. Right? And it's also about communication. Swords are always about communication. So birds are also about communication. So gossip. Right? These are biting words. This is gossip. This is garbage. This is positive. Encouraging. But we want to say no to drama. We don't want to be involved in drama. We don't want to. We have to be careful with the words that we choose. As I said earlier, you know, uh, sometimes we have to say things that sting. Sometimes we do. But be careful because we, you know, you think before you speak um, because it has a lasting effect. But, and it's powerful. But Spirit's saying, don't be challenged. Like maybe there's been difficulty. Maybe it's been kind of cold, right, in your family environment. Maybe your home's not been so feeling so friendly. But things are going to warm up here because you're being encouraged not to get stuck in where, where things were. They want you to communicate clearly. Maybe I can see the energy moving around. Can you see the energy moving around? That's sparkling energy, right? It's magnetic energy. So it's, it's asking you. You can turn this situation into this situation because you are the one that creates your own future. So if you've got ideas, this now is not the time to keep them on ice. Now's the time to bring them forward right? Now's the time to speak communicatively in a positive way. Manifest. Manifest what it is that you want because that's what you can do. Nothing just happens. All of these messages, when you get a positive sign, you're like, yay! None of it happens without your, your being a part of it and doing something with it. So if you want to have that, you need to do what Spirit's advising you to do. And your advice is don't let yourself get stuck you know, if you're feeling sad about something, if you're in a negative headspace because things haven't been going your way, don't allow yourself to stay in that place because then you're going to keep that energy, that, that vibration coming to you. That energy will be vibrating around you. Right now, is that what's going on? That energy vibrating around you, is that negativity or are you taking your positive energy and spinning it into this, right? Because that's what Spirit's encouraging you to do. The difficulties that you go through, the challenges, they're making you strong. They're making you realize what it is that you truly want. What, what you feel is worth fighting for, you're not going to back down, right? Spirit's wanting you to have confidence in yourself because, look, you are well-equipped. You're, you're able to handle whatever's in front of you, and this is coming. Winter always ends, and we have spring beginning here, right? So, yes, come forward as, as, a, as a, the queen of, of swords, right? Here you are, the, the ace of swords. You're coming forward with words that need to be spoken, but don't be cold the way you speak. Be precise, be clear, so we don't have confusion. We want to keep a sunny atmosphere on a situation, a positive energy, right? You've got a wand, and you're wielding that wand. Wand. So you want to do it in a positive way. Use your power in a positive way so that you can grow and you can bring your ideas into, into being. You've got great ideas. You've got magic in front of you. You are not going to allow the obstacles to get in your way. You're wielding your wand, and you are realizing, you know what? That's what it looks like right now, but I know this is coming because I'm building that mindset. I have a positive mindset, and I know that I can do anything I set my mind to. I can accomplish anything. What seems impossible is not. It is often, 
things that may look like they are impossible are definitely possible and what feels like can't happen can happen and will happen and does happen and you're saying I already know it's going to happen I've already decided I'm not staying in this place I'm using this pace right now to figure out where I want to go and that's what I'm manifesting because I have the tools in front of me I am the magician okay so you hold that positive energy and go there if you're asking a question about what it's going to be like it's turning into this but only if you work in accordance with what spirit is guiding you to do at this time and they want you to keep a, a careful clear head don't get confused have confidence in yourself speak your truth in a kind way you will overcome the difficulties that you are having if you see that if your intention is a positive intention my intention is I'm understood my intention is you know what okay things are a little bit quiet right now but that's just a gestation period but pretty soon things are gonna start moving in spirit you know what show me what I need to do to move forward um, if I if I start to make a misstep course correct me make it clear to me I'm gonna be careful about the words that I speak I'm gonna be listening to the messages all of these messages because I'm being shown what to do and something really wonderful is on its way for me so that's your reading and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go grab the positive affirmation cards because that's what we're supposed to do we want this we have to speak positive affirmations we got to fake it until we make it or believe it until we see it I like that better believe it until we see it so let me just go grab those cards I'll be right back and I like these cards because they're called I can do it yes I can I can do anything I've set my mind to I have to remember to put the information for Aragonite and the Phantom Angel Phantom Quartz. I hope I have enough room. Okay. So for gosh, I just saw Lily walk by. I literally just saw Will, Lily walk by. My my little one that's in spirit. There's no one there. I mean, in the physical. Except for that little cat toy that she used to flip around the floor. It's interesting. I literally just saw her walk by. So somebody asked me about that the other day and uh, they lost their pet and I said, you know, Lily showed up quite a bit and they said, how has she showed up? I said, she's come in dreams, she's brought messages and she, I just literally saw her walk by out of the corner of my eye. Babe, can you go talk to Willow and tell her not to be scared and talk to Siam and tell him he doesn't have to be scared? Last night, um, Siam got out of the door, Liger was walking around and I couldn't find him and my landlord found him this morning behind the water heater in the in the downstairs and I had to drag him out and he was scared he'd been there all night probably and didn't know what to do and so strange you know as soon as I put my hands on him he starts purring and rolling around on the ground but they're just so scared so Lily you need to help them Lily wasn't afraid of anything that's another thing you guys if you've got someone in spirit you talk to them somebody in spirit that was your mentor or that was your rock like my grandma was mine my mom was and Lily was you ask them for their help. Correct for neutrality on all levels. And don't wait. Song right now, I wish somebody would have told me, babe, that these were the good old days. You know? I wish I'd done this. I wish I had done that. I wish I hadn't done that. Don't be the person who says, I wish I had. Oh, I want to show you. Melissa, I'm wearing the bracelet. This is the Jasper bracelet that Melissa gave me with this little... Isn't it pretty? It's interesting. When I put my, my bracelets on, it's like, okay... I feel like, you know, Shira, Princess of Power, or Wonder Woman. No one's going to get me with my, with my Reiki Charge crystals on my wrists. <laughs> okay, fire signs. What is your positive affirmation, fire signs? What is your positive affirmation? My lips are chapped. I've been using that lip balm. Thank you, Melissa. I've used uh, the lip balm, the lip gloss. I haven't used the um, eyeshadow yet, but I got my nail polish on. <laughs> Love it. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Fire signs. Okay, here we go. I stand on my own two feet. I accept power and I use my own power. That's not a fire sign message. It is safe for me to speak up for myself. Yes, it is. I stand my own two feet and it's safe for me to speak up for myself. Bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a fire message for sure. Water signs. Oh, I skipped over earth. Let's go to earth. Earth signs. Correct for neutrality. Got water in my mind. Earth signs. I release all resistance to money and I now allow it to flow joyously into my life. Bam. My good comes from everywhere and everyone. Let's say that again, shall we? 
My good comes from everywhere and everyone. I release all resistance to money and I now allow it to flow joyously into my life. Look at that swan just bringing buckets of abundance. Woo! Air signs. What is your message, air signs? You don't know what you got till it's gone. I am a clear thinker and I express myself with ease because I am air, right? The key to creativity is knowing that my thinking creates my experience. I use this key in every area of my life. Perfect for air since it's about words and thought, right? I am a clear thinker and I express myself with ease. The key to creativity is knowing that my thinking creates my experience. I use this key in every area of my life because remember air signs had somebody coming home and there was supposed to be communication, right? Hmm. Water signs. Wow. Wait for them to ask you who you know. Please don't make any sudden moves. You don't know the half of the abuse. That one that's worried, you know, the one that has the ones that love them who lock them up. And now they don't have, they have trust issues, like my little cats, right? They lock, got locked up and they don't trust people. But at the end of it, they looked and they realized, wow, you know what? You love me. I think you're maybe one of us. It's all in your thinking, right? Please don't make any sudden moves. I don't, you don't know the half of the abuse. Somebody that's carrying that, that pain still. Water signs, what is your positive affirmation? Because this is sad. Water signs, what is your positive affirmation? We want you to focus on something really, really positive and helpful. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Water signs. The perfect job is looking for me, and we're being brought together now. I deserve to have a successful career, and I accept it now. Hmm. I deserve to have a successful career, and I accept it now. And the perfect job is looking for me, and we are being brought together now. See, that's what we do. That's how we, that's how we delegate. That's how we allow spirit to help us. We know what we want, and then we say, okay, you know, I'm not going to freaking stress about it. We can use that in anything, right? I deserve, uh, I, I know that I deserve love in my life, and the perfect relationship is right there. My solution to my, my problem is being resolved in a miraculous way. Right now, I appreciate how you bring the assistance to me in ways that I can't even imagine. <laughs> fire signs. Did I say fire signs? I did. Air signs, water signs, earth signs. We're done with them. Okay. So now we go to the affirmator cards. Correct for neutrality on all levels. These are kind of funny. I like these. Uh, fire signs. What's your affirmator message? Fire signs. All my friends are heathens. Take it slow. All my friends are heathens. <laughs> I guess I'm a heathen, right? Please don't make any sudden moves. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Fire signs. Engagement. Wow. Okay. Today I make the conscious choice to engage with the world in an active way. I'll take a new route and talk to strangers. I will smell flowers and pet dogs and maybe walk around barefoot for a while if I'm not inside a 7-Eleven. At the very least, I'll have a day that's slightly more interesting than average, and at the most, I'll have a startling epiphany or make a friend who will change my life forever. No pressure. And here you see this octopus and this fish having a picnic. And they're saying cheers. They're celebrating. And you know what's funny about the fish and the octopus? The octopus, it's like a best friend. A best friend is like an octopus stuck to your face. <laughs> they don't let go, right? Your best friend won't let go. Fishy, cheers. Okay, earth signs. Correct for neutrality. Oh my God, the song I say. I love this song. It always comes on when we're... At water signs, interesting. When I say I am lost, you say I am found. When you when I say I don't belong, you say I am yours. Wow, this is the best song ever. Earth signs. Divine timing, whatever it is that's happening, it's divine timing. Everything is timing and timing is everything. Gladly, I release my concern over timing and let things happen when and as they will. I trust the divine schedule makers know what they're doing. It can take a long time to reach divine middle management. 
So don't be chasing after anything or anyone. Everything happens in divine timing. What's yours won't run from you and you won't have to chase it. It's all in divine timing. It's coming to you. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Air signs. Hi, Liger. Liger's an air sign. No, he's not. He's a Pisces. Maybe he's got air in his chart. How interesting. He's a Pisces. My cat is a Pisces. He may be on the cusp of Aries. Hold on. I mean, of Aquarius. Just a sec. Are you on the cusp? Are you a cusper? You heard about the fishy and the octopus, didn't you? And you say, I want a treat. Oh my gosh, do you want to come clear my cards? Liger used to work with me all the time. He's coming for dinner, always limping. It's okay, baby boy. He's old man. Come on, my old man. My old man's an air sign. He is. My dad's an Aquarius. Oh, that got me very emotional. Wow. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Self-love, Foxy. I openly embrace the feeling of self-love, the PG kind. I love myself because I understand myself. I love myself as the most committed partner I will ever have. I show myself love any way that I can. And when I screw up, I remember to be sweet and gentle with myself. If not, I'm going to make myself sleep on the couch. Got that self? Now, this is beautiful. It's what I spoke to my girlfriend about today. This is who you need to love, you. You need to stand on your own two feet, take care of you. And when you are strong and loving and capable of taking care of you, that's when love comes on the outside. But you have to have it on the inside for you first. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I love this song. It's so beautiful. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Water signs. You say I'm loved when I can't feel a thing. You say I'm strong when I feel I am weak. You say I am held when I so am sure. And when I don't belong, you say that I am yours. And I believe, I believe, I believe. Positive affirmations, I believe, I believe. Anything that we can say in a negative, spirit can answer us back in a positive, right? And so we need to learn how to do that too. Correct for neutrality on all levels, water. Wow, self-love, babe. Need to learn how to love yourself. And when you learn how to love yourself, then the world loves you back. I openly embrace the feeling of self-love, the PG kind. I love myself because I understand myself. I love myself as the most committed partner I will ever have. I show myself love any way that I can. And when I group, screw up, when I screw up, I remember to be sweet and gentle with myself. If not, I'm going to make myself sleep on the couch. Got that self? Stop being so hard on yourself. I wrote 200 letters I will never send. Somehow these cuts are somehow deeper than they seem. You'd rather cover up. I'd rather let them bleed. So this is another message I talked to my friend about how I am in misery. No one can come for me. Are you being a victim? Are you keeping yourself in that place? You want to bleed. I want to bleed. I want to be a victim. I want to be a martyr. I'm going to stay in this place and be miserable and unhappy because I'm stuck. You really got me bad. I'm going to get you back because this person has realized that they love themselves and they realize I'm not going to be a victim. I'm not going to be a martyr. I'm not going to stay in this place. I'm not going to stay in this sad place. It's my responsibility. I can wake up in the morning and I can be... I can be this abused victim and then I can turn into an abuser or I can decide I'm going to love myself. I'm going to look in my mirror and I'm going to realize I am strong and I am powerful and I'm not going to do that. Right? I'm in misery. No one can come for me. I'm going to get you back. I'm coming back. That's what the message was. All right, you guys, this is a wrap. 
and we are at two hours and ten minutes. I knew it was a little bit longer, but it was good. So thank you for being with me. I'm sorry that we weren't outside, but you know, hey, it is what it is. And uh, I'm going to upload this and get it going and drop a few more wands and grab some water and feed my kitties and go to sleep. You say your faith is shaken. You think you might be mistaken. You keep me wide awake and waiting for the dawn. I'm desperate and confused, too far away from you. I'm getting there. I don't care what I have to do. Good. Good. Do it. Right? Prove it. Put your money where your mouth is. Say hi to our little, beautiful little alien baby. Hi, honey chicken. Hi. Hello, little guy. Are you ready for something to eat? Are you? Big yawny? Hi, honey, honey. Hi, sweetheart. He has his little mermaid that snuggles with him, and he keeps her right there. Isn't that cute? Hi, honey chicken. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I love you guys. Bye.